Hello again. Today I show you how to install Solus Linux along with Windows. Before we begin, I want to show you a common problem that you are most likely to encounter when installing Linux. This error is related to the Grub Linux bootloader and is due to insufficient space on the EFI partition that Windows creates when installing it. Please, before starting the installation of Solus Linux on your PC, watch my video to prevent this problem. You can see detailed instructions on how to increase the EFI partition at the link in the description. Now we can start looking for the official page of Solus Linux on the internet. Go to the Solus Linux website. Solus Linux is available in four desktop environments, Budgie, Gnome, Plasma, and XFCE, which is still in beta development. I will download Budgie because I like this desktop environment. Okay, while the download is finished, we will make a special partition for Solus Linux. Go to the Disk Manager. Right-click Partition C and press Shrink Volume. Enter your required size in megabytes and continue shrink. OK, now, from the empty space, make a new partition. Enter a partition name. Close the Disk Manager, and then in File Explorer, you can see your new volume. While waiting for the download to complete, you can browse the Solus Linux website. Here are many useful links through which you can get acquainted with what Solus Linux is, by whom, and for what purpose it was created. You can also visit their blog and forum. When the download is complete, copy the Solus Linux ISO file and paste it into your Ventoe drive. If you have watched my other videos, you know how to make a Ventoe multi-boot device. You can also use the Rufus or Bellina method. I have attached a link to how to make a one-toy multi-boot USB in the description. If you are interested, you can watch it. Anyway, when your USB drive is ready, it's time to restart the computer and start our installation. After the reboot, activate your boot menu. If you don't know how, check your computer's manufacturer's documentation. Select boot from the USB drive. Select the Solus Linux ISO file. And boot the installation. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech guides. That was a pretty quick system load. Now open the install system, and in front of us is the new Calamari's installer. Select the language of the installer. Now select the region and time zone, and then the keyboard. Here, you need to choose where to install Solus Linux. I will choose to replace the ready partition we made earlier. It is necessary to check which EFI partition system is selected, and if it is not the right one, choose the right one, which in this case is SDA1. The installer shows me, in red, where Solus Linux will be installed. I think everything is quite simple. After that, you need to enter your name and the name you will use to log in. If you wish, you can write a computer name of your choice. Choose your password. You can also enable automatic login without a password, but note that some of the applications will then ask for your password again. On the next window, you can see all your changes and what will be done after you press install. Go through them, and if everything is fine, just press install, and the installation will start. The highlight of Solus 4.5 is the introduction of the Calamari's installer, 
which makes the installation process seamless. This simplifies installation using file systems such as BTRFS and allows users to define their partition layout directly in the installer. The updated installation experience and smoother setup are good for all users. Solus adopts Pipewire as the default audio framework, replacing Pulse Audio and Jack. So if you're into audio production and use Bluetooth headphones, microphones, etc., you should experience performance improvements. Solus 4.5 confirms that Solus is a fast, stable, and user-friendly Linux distribution full of updates, improvements, and new features. Installation is complete. Now you can restart your computer, and you will see in real time how fast Solus Linux loads. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech guides. Maybe it will be amazing for someone, but on my AMD Ryzen 3 and 16GB RAM, Solus 4.5 loads under 10 seconds. In this case, for 7 seconds. Solus 4.5 includes the Budgie Desktop as a flagship release. This release brings several improvements to the latest Budgie 10.8.2 desktop. This is the current upstream version of this stunning desktop. With Budgie 10.8.2, you can experience the more integrated dark theme for desktop and apps, better trash management via the Budgie Trash Applet, scalable system tray icons, notification system improvements, fuzzy Budgie menu search slash dialogue performance, and many other great features. The Solus Software Center is designed to have a user-friendly and intuitive interface. It aims to simplify the process of discovering, installing, and managing software on the Solus operating system. The Software Center typically categorizes applications into different sections, making it easy for users to browse and find software based on their interests or needs. The front page often highlights featured or popular software, showcasing applications that the Solus team recommends or that are trending among users. Users can search for specific applications using the search bar. Filters and sorting options help users refine their searches based on categories, ratings, or other criteria. Clicking on a software title usually takes users to a detailed page providing information about the application, including a description, version details, and user ratings. Installing software is typically a straightforward process. Users can click a button to install an application, and the software center handles the download and installation. Similarly, users can easily uninstall applications from the same interface. The software center includes a feature for managing software updates. Users can check for updates, view change logs, and receive notifications when updates are available. Behind the scenes, the Software Center is integrated with the package management system of Solus OS. It interacts with the package manager to ensure that software installations, updates, and removals are handled effectively. Community Contributions Solus OS encourages community contributions, and the Software Center may showcase applications contributed by the Solus community. The Software Center aims to provide a responsive and optimized experience, allowing users to quickly navigate and manage their software. It's impressive how good this operating system is, everything runs so fast and smoothly. It's extremely intuitive and, in my opinion, is great for Windows users who are new to Linux or have little experience with it. I recommend Solus OS 4.5, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech guides. The Budgie Control Center in Solus OS is a centralized settings hub that provides users with a convenient and organized way to manage various aspects of the desktop environment. 
It is designed to be user-friendly and accessible for users of all experience levels. Budgie Control Center includes options for changing the desktop background or setting a wallpaper. Users can choose from pre-installed wallpapers or upload their own images. Users can configure window management settings, including window snapping, animations, and behavior. This allows users to tailor the desktop environment to their workflow. For users with multiple displays, the Budgie Control Center typically provides options for configuring display settings, resolution, and orientation. Users can manage audio devices, volume levels, and sound settings through the Control Center. This includes selecting input and output devices. Control over power settings, such as screen timeout, sleep, and power button behavior, is often available in the Control Center. Users can configure language and regional settings, including date and time formats, keyboard layouts, and language preferences. By opening the Budgie Desktop Settings app from the menu, you can choose the theme, icon theme, cursor theme, and font for the desktop. Toggle the dark theme preference for applications, add, remove, or customize the panels on the desktop. You can change the position, size, transparency, and behavior of the panels. Add or remove applets to the panels, such as the clock, the menu, the task list, and the system tray. Can configure the Raven sidebar, which shows notifications, calendar, and sound settings. Enable or disable desktop widgets, such as the show desktop button, the trash applet, and the spacer applet. You can also change the size and position of the widgets. You can change the window behavior, such as the focus mode, the title bar action, the window snapping, and the window animations. Enable or disable the window previews and the window shadows. Manage the applications that start automatically when you log into the desktop. You can add, remove, or edit the auto start entries. Solus 4.5 also brings the latest ROCM 5.5 release from AMD, providing GPU acceleration for applications like Blender and facilitating hardware accelerated machine learning. The team has extended ROCM compatibility even for some hardware not officially supported by AMD. Excitingly, ROCM 6.0 is on the horizon, promising further performance improvements for GPU-accelerated workflows. All of the above changes are powered by Linux kernel 6.6.9, which is the latest major kernel available. If I can summarize everything I saw, Solus 4.5 is a very serious operating system that combines a modern look without being loaded with unnecessary shiny components and a very stable system that works smoothly and quickly. On the other hand, Solus 4.5 gives you the ability to customize your work environment almost to infinity, which puts it at a very high level, not only among Linux distributions. I hope you found this adventure interesting today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my next videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.